What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going to be doing a walk around on a 1964 Chevelle. This one here has a bleed to be 350 under the hood. We got power steering. Pretty cool little paint scheme here. We got disc brakes in the front on this car. What I'm going to be doing is pointing out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're coming to buy. Check out maplemotors.com for financing and shipping information. Close to 100 detailed pictures, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. I opened the trunk and the hood so I'm not flipping the camera around while I'm doing the video. We're going to get started up here in the front. Coming around the side of the car, it looks pretty straight. I'm going to be pointing out any kind of dent, scratch, rust. It looks like they've already changed out the front bumper. I noticed there was a little bit of a power steering leak and I got up under there. I had a hose that was a little loose. I tightened it up. We're going to start it up and hopefully it, uh, it fixed the leak. The grill looks great on the front of this car. It does have a slight scratch coming down this fender. Tires are in pretty good shape. Set of craggers. Trim looks pretty good around the windows. Uh, I got a little scuff mark right there on the pillar. At some point, somebody's replaced the weather stripping around the bent window. That's a little dry going around the door though. Different shade of green on the roof. They got a two-tone going on. Got some dimples. Checking the bottoms of the doors for any rust. Not really seeing anything. It looks like a small dent right here. Door handles have been replaced on this car as well. Just got a little scratch down at the bottom and a dent right there. Back bumper has been replaced. Weather stripping around the trunk looks fairly new. Trunk lid's in good shape, spare tire. Let's look in the bottom here. Well, somebody's definitely done some sealant through here. It may need a trunk pan. You can see that's not what it's supposed to look like. Back of tray's in pretty good shape. Some surface rust back there in the corner, but no holes. You can tell they've replaced this trim on the back. It looks fairly new. And it shuts down easy. Got some touch-up marks back here. Little chips. Some of the trim on this side has got some imperfections. Light scratch at the bottom of the door there. And at the bottom of this fender. Some chips around the window. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump on the interior on this car and check it out and get her started up. Go ahead and place your bets. Play a little game on this channel. You think the horn works? Interior's not in bad shape. Got a little spot for the speaker cut in the package tray. Headliner is not stretched completely out. You can see it's sagging a little bit, but most of it is in good shape. Door panel is not in bad shape. The weather stripping around the door panel needs to be replaced. A little spot there inside the door. The carpet needs to be replaced. It is older. And the seat has a split right in the middle. Dash pads showing signs of age, but it's not all tore up. 
go ahead and start it up. Starts up nice and easy. It does have an aftermarket radio on the dash and it looks like it's on, so it is working. Retro sound, I can hear it. Also the USB hookup. The horn does not work on this one. Air-wise, it's not working. Showing 28,000 miles on the dash, hard to stand behind in this year. Wipers work. They are working. It comes down nice and easy. Guys, I'm gonna be giving you some undercarriage shots. You can check those out along with close to 100 detail pictures at maplemotors.com. Little chip on the hood. All right, I'm gonna start up front here and we're gonna go to the driver's side, the rear and the passenger side. Like I said earlier, I tried to fix this power steering leak. Doesn't look like it's stripping anymore. Seems like that took care of it. I missed on the walk around. I want to go ahead and start right here. There's got some bubbles popping up in between the bumper back here. I want you to see that. All right, let's get this under carriage shot over here on the passenger side. Guys, if you don't mind, check out maplemotors.com, financing options, shipping. I can ship these cars all over the nation. Close to 100 detailed pictures. All of our inventory, and it's updated every week, every Monday. Definitely check that out. And hit that subscribe button if you want more videos daily. Try to post every day. We're getting ready to do a test drive video on this car. It's gonna be taking it down the road. Seeing how she runs and drives. You can look up any of our videos. It's pretty easy. All you got to do, type in the year, the model, and Maple Motors. Should help you out. That way you know everything about them before you make it here. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again.